I'm slowly starting to regret this upgrade. This better be worth it. Well, it's my photographer. In this video, I'm going to be installing the Intel network card on the MSI G63 VR. I ordered this like more than, more than a month ago on eBay for like $26. And it's a 2016 version of the Intel network card for laptops. And the model number is Intel 8265NGW. I got this to see the difference between the the Qualcomm killer network card that's on this laptop. I've seen a lot of reports and comments about the killer network card being not as good as the Intel one. So in this video, I'm gonna be installing it and see if I can tell any difference. All right, let's open the bottom of the laptop. I opened this laptop so many times that one of the screws is almost stripped out for some reason. <coughs> okay, I got all the screws out. See if I can install this without removing too many things. So we have tape over the network and let's take out the network. Okay, so I had to stop recording because I I broke the connectors off the old network card. There are two connectors here and you have to like really carefully pull them out. I'm a really clumsy person as usual. I messed it up so it was it took me like a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes to remove it. So there was like this little ring on my finger. This was stuck inside the connectors. Uh, they're called the mini coaxial connectors that connect to one of them is the the main one the other one is auxiliary when you put, when you take them out you have to be very careful i broke the clips off i wasted so much time use as little pressure as possible and pull them out in a, like a straight upward motion the white one came out easily but the black one i had some troubles with so let's hope that it works i might have ruined the cables I might need to maybe order new cables and then you know take out the motherboard and then reconnect reconnect from the other side. But I managed to get both of them off and one of them fell inside the motherboard. But they're like tiny, just like that ring I showed you. So I finally connected it. I put the black one in. So I'm trying to put the white one now. So I have the network card all secured. Put this tape back on before. Okay, so it's installed. I have to plug my camera into the charger directly so it's charging off the wall right now. But one benefit of these Sony cameras is that you can plug it into any micro USB connection. But the downside is the shitty, shitty battery life. So let's put the cover back on and put them on without stripping them like I did last time. I hope the, the network card only deals with wireless and not ethernet. Although when I look at devices, I see the, I see killer gigabit controller, I think, as the, the network card, even when I'm connected to the ethernet. So as long as the ethernet is not broken, I could live without Wi-Fi until I get a replacement cable for those mini coax cables that I broke one of. I mean, I don't know if I broke it or not, but I broke the existing, the old network cards connection. They came right off so be very careful while taking them out if you're doing this i didn't know they were that fragile okay let's put it into windows go to device manager so there's an unknown network controller now i should have probably downloaded the network drivers before so i'm going to connect my phone by usb and header right now i don't have an ethernet connector nearby intel 8265 try this Windows 10, 64 bit, except. Also, I gotta say, I'm really thankful that Android has USB tethering. Also, I'll have to go next to my router and try to download these things. And right now, I don't even know if the Ethernet connection will work. Let's go to network adapter. So it still has the killer gigabit Ethernet controller, so that might be. That might be part of the motherboard. So, gigabit probably Ethernet works normally. I don't see any Wi Fi adapters. Just let's do customize. You know, I don't need admin toolkit. All right, people. So I have great news. Wi-Fi works. Also, the Wi-Fi signal quality looks about the same, but the speed changes. So before, previously on the killer one, 
the speed would be always same 866 and here it like dips down to 585 goes to 600 400 so it, like it goes up and down so i'll do a few speed tests i already did the speed test on the previous network card Let's see the difference So I'm going to also test Bluetooth connection, make sure um, Bluetooth works out of show Bluetooth devices. So I already had paired my Pixel before, but since this is a new device, Pixel might not be connected or, you know, authenticated. So as you can see, there's another Pixel XL. So I'm going to remove the previous one and then pair with the actual Pixel XL. So, okay. So I got the notification on my phone. Yeah. Okay. So my phone is connected to the computer, everything is well. So I'm going to try to make sure the network card works on Linux, on Ubuntu. So, log into my computer. Okay. Okay. Connected to Wi-Fi, everything is working fine. Good connection information. So our speed is 866 megabits per second. Uh, but as you can see, it goes up and down. Would the killer network would always say it was connected at full speed? I don't know if this is good or bad. It's probably good, I don't know. Um, but I guess this will, this will report like the accurate speed connection between the router. So I'm sitting at the same distance I was sitting while I was testing the previous killer. Looks like everything works fine. Let's do a quick speed test here. To beta, let's speed test on that. So, everything works fine in Linux too. I'm so happy. I was really worried that while I was trying to take out the pins out of the connectors from the mini coax cables, I thought I completely broke them and permanently damaged them. I thought I'd have to take my computer to a repair shop and, you know, get this taken care of. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was annoying. So when you're installing, make sure you're really careful when you're taking them off the, the network card. I'll show it again. So right here, put it under the light. So these two connectors, again, be very careful while taking them out. I pretty much stripped them right off. Uh, they're gone. So this card is trash now, but now that the Intel card works fine, I don't even need this. So anyway, so I want to thank you for watching this video. That was a little bit stressful on my side. Um, that's just my fault. I'm a little bit clumsy and not careful. So again, if you're going to be doing this, make sure you take out those pins really balanced and really smoothly because it's really easy to just rip them off at least on the killer ones. I don't know if all of them are the same. Maybe this one is mainly cheap. I don't want to like blame MSI or killer or Qualcomm for making these so cheaply. It might be nature of them. Maybe if in the future I replace my Intel card, maybe I might break them again, but um, next time I'll be more careful. Um, maybe use like small needles. If, if necessary, use two needles and you know, pull it from both sides really slowly. I'm really happy that Everything is working. So far, this is the second thing I've replaced on my computer or added something to my computer. The SSD was also like the first time I started recording the installation of SSD. I had no idea there was no, there was no connector for the SSD. Hey guys, sorry about that. So my camera overheated when I was recording. I recorded this video about two weeks ago. The camera overheated and stopped recording. So now I'm editing. So I just wanted to add a few things. I got a new microphone, as you can see here. Um, this is a lavalier mic. Hopefully it should improve my audio. I know in, my, in some of my videos, the audio is pretty terrible because there's a lot of background noise in my apartment and it's tough to get like a completely silent room. So my audio quality will really degrade even if I use a uh, shotgun microphone. So hopefully with this mic, it sounds better. If you watch this video until this point, First of all, I want to say thank you for watching and let me know how this sounds right now with this new microphone and let me know what you thought of this video. The installation was really funny. I'm editing 
I have some funny parts where I'm just get, getting really frustrated and overreacting honestly. It's not as bad. But after two weeks I have to say the network card works awesome. I have no issues with it. It connects the networks fast. The speeds are fast. I don't have delays. The thing is, I don't know if it made that much difference compared to Killer. Uh, I haven't seen that big of a difference, honestly. Both the Wi-Fi at my house and my work is pretty fast. My work Wi-Fi is sometimes at that some spots it's pretty bad, but I had issues with Killer and Intel as well. So I'm not sure if it solved any problems or any issues. I haven't seen any bad performance. If you're willing to change, let's say your SSD, or your PCIe or you know maybe you're repasting your CPU I would suggest replacing the network card too why not plus the network card I got is a 2016 model so it's a newer Wi-Fi card so the driver updates will be faster um, plus it's Intel it's gonna work much better with the Intel system so yeah so thank you for watching it was fun making this video I'm gonna continue making videos I've, I've taken them almost a month break uh, the life has been crazy so yeah uh, i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy